Well, The Northman is finally out. It's Robert Eggers' third film. I think it's his third film, but uh, man, I tell you, the guy, there's nothing he can't do. And uh, let's review The Northman. The Northman stars Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Anya Taylor-Joy, Ethan Hawke, and is directed by Robert Eggers. What's up guys, brand new 2022 review. There are very few directors that I will go see their movie sight unseen. Usually I have to know a little bit about the movie, I, know, I have to know about the trailer, maybe some star power, but you give me David Fincher, uh, you give me Ari Aster, you give me Scorsese, and you give me Robert Eggers, and I don't need to know anything else. I'm there, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. And honestly, I didn't even know too much about this movie, The Northman. I, I heard about it maybe like a month ago, month and a half ago, something like that. I was like, oh wow, this is a Viking epic. Oh, wait, Robert Eggers is directing this? The guy who did The Freaking Witch? The Lighthouse? Really, he's part of that, I guess, new age of directors. It seems like every generation, there's a new crop of directors. You know, you had Tarantino and Fincher and a bunch of other guys that came up around the same time. Uh, and way back, you had uh, Scorsese. De Palma, Francis Ford Coppola, Spielberg, you know, Carpenter. But uh, yeah, this age, it seems like Ari Aster, uh, Robert Eggers, and there's a couple others in there too. And I didn't really watch any trailers for this movie. I knew it was a Viking epic. Uh, you know, when you're scrolling through your social media, you'll get those quick little 15 second promos. And I, I saw those and you know, Alexander Skarsgård looks ripped as hell and uh, just plowing through the enemy. Must choose between kindness for your kin or hate for your enemies. Their strength breaks men's bones. Yeah, that's pretty much all I knew about the movie. I knew that it was a revenge story. This is a Robert Eggers movie, and I knew going into this that there was going to be more than just a straight up one dimensional uh, vengeance story. You could have that for sure in an epic movie and we'd all be satisfied. But Robert Eggers is a director that isn't satisfied with just a straight one dimensional story. He definitely likes to throw in some layers there, maybe throw in some uh, misdirection, uh, uh, take you in uh, places that you didn't dare think you were gonna go. And this movie's no different. It does venture into some uh, unexpected territory, which is great. So first off, let's give you a quick plot synopsis. I kind of summed it up, but uh, really this is a family drama. You know, it's a Viking drama that takes place in Norway, but uh, Alexander Skarsgård, he plays his character Amleth. His uh, father is played by Ethan Hawke, uh, his mother by Nicole Kidman. Beginning of the movie, he is a child. His father is killed and he swears revenge. And even as a child, the young child actor that played Amleth does a really good job. And you already know that's because Robert Eggers. He, he wants to get the best out of his actors uh, across the board. And automatically you get powerful stuff. When he sees his father die, he says, I am going to get vengeance for my father. I'm going to save my mother. And I'm going to kill his enemies. And I'm going to be careful with what I'm saying here because... Um, I think that's all I want you to know, okay? Uh, just know that this is definitely some family drama type stuff going on. We all know that Amleth, he escapes, and then it's kind of like a Moses story, you know? Because just in the sense that Moses was a child, he um, was, I guess, separated from his family that were royalty, and then he comes back as a slave. And this is exactly what happens with this character. He comes back as a slave, and this is where the fun begins because you get to see this character at first be pretty much this animal, you know? And Eggers has these moments, these almost little montages in the movie that set up the animal nature, uh, you know, the savagery of this Viking clan. And I've seen plenty of TV shows and movies with Vikings, but I've never seen these stories told with such like savagery and, and ferociousness. They really try to spell that out for you. And I think there's a good reason that they do that because how can you imagine somebody that's just so bloodthirsty and, and wanting vengeance? You would automatically think that that's the course they're going to take for the rest of the movie. But in the end, this is kind of a coming of age story. Uh, you know, told through Amleth's eyes. Meeting these characters along the way, and it just is a testament to how much of a difference 
people can make in one's life. You know, you can come across so many different types of people uh, and they can shape who you are as a person. And one of the people that he comes across is Olga, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, who is a spitfire, very intelligent type of person. She, there's a moment where she tells him, you are a savage, you know, you use your brawn, but I have to use my brain. And automatically, I loved her. I mean, I love Anya Taylor-Joy anyway. She's amazing in everything that she does. She was in Robert Eggers' first movie, The Witch. You already know that you're going to get amazing performances out of her. But one thing that really surprised me with this movie is Nicole Kidman. Uh, I thought that Nicole Kidman was, you know, she's a great actress. Don't get me wrong. She has such an amazing resume. But just from the moment I saw her in this movie, I thought she was pretty much just going to be the, uh, the queen um, you know, just kind of in the background, but no, she definitely has a character in this movie that strongly presents itself. Now, Alexander Skarsgård uh, as Amleth, wow, he really beefed himself up for this role, and he's already like six foot five anyway. He looks like a freaking monster in this movie. There's one scene where uh, the king's son later in the movie, you know, Amleth, he's a, he's a slave, this hulking freaking looking slave. And the guy's trying to intimidate him and he, and he punches him in the side and it's like punching a brick wall. And the, the whole theater just kind of erupted in laughter because he didn't even budge him and he's trying to flex and act like a badass. But uh, you're probably not going to do that well against a, a freaking Viking. Talk about a bloody massacre of a movie. I'm not saying that it's just blood for blood's sake all the way through the movie. No, this is a very layered story. There's a lot of twists and turns that happen throughout, but there are some very violent moments and there's some um, violent scenes that are definitely gonna catch you off guard. I always like when they get creative with, I guess, with the kills, you know? Just like in a freaking horror movie, you're gonna have kills. Well, also in these, in a Viking movie, you're definitely gonna have some kills. And there were a few moments where let's just say it caught everybody by surprise like oh god that's that's not fun fits right in with the savagery of the of the character uh last thing i got a foot stomp is just robert eggers direction it, it, it's so beautifully done throughout this movie uh there's quite a few scenes that feel almost dreamlike but it never takes away from you know just the trajectory of the story this might be of his three films that i've seen the most i guess structured and straightforward because some of his stuff can be a little out there like like the lighthouse there's always something in his movies that kind of throws you for a loop uh and, and you're just like that was some weird shit yeah this movie has some of that but for the most part it's an epic you know and you're gonna compare this to stuff like gladiator and braveheart it fits right in with that mold but it does have that robert eggers flair to it you know uh and that just makes it even better and really, it just makes it more memorable, too, because you could do just a normal Viking tale. Let's face it, a, a, a director that's a good director, but not a Robert Eggers. Robert Eggers is a, like, he's an auteur. He's a one-in-a-million type of director. It takes so much talent and creativity to direct a movie like he does. And there's very few people on this planet that can direct a movie like Robert Eggers. And usually when you walk out of his movies, it is a lot to take in, and, and you can be a little bit discombobulated, uh, almost beaten over the head by the time you get out of the movie. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Uh, his movies are layered and sometimes complex. You have to let them digest. You know, this isn't a cheeseburger. This is a freaking steak dinner, all right? And you have to let it digest. And that's, that's what I'm doing right now. I just saw the movie, but I can tell you, it was amazing. Uh, definitely a trap on an island for sure. Have I given? I think I've given him three trapped on an islands in a row. He's just one of the one of the finest directors working today. So definitely check out The Northman uh, when you get a chance. Uh, I think it comes out this weekend. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do free for Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on all my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Drum Dum out.